I guess I'm at, at a point where I, I need to think about that because I've been, I was part of the big relaunch or the big kind of break point of the network in 1999. And, but I've never considered myself, I'm still there because I'm not star material. I'm not, or ever will be, an Emeril Agassi or a Rachel Ray or a Guy Fieri. I've always been safely down in the B ranks. And because I'm down in the B ranks, I get away with more and I have longevity. Because I never, I never novid. I never became a big star. That's given me room to last. Um, what has it meant? Um, steady paycheck's been really nice. Um, but being part of a brand has upsides and downsides. I'm part of something, but in the end, I'm a supplier, I'm a vendor, you know, I'm, I'm contracted to deliver a certain amount of something to, you know, I make cogs, basically. Um, I'm a cable liberty, not a celebrity, I'm a cable liberty, um, which means that 3% of the population think I'm the second coming of Elvis. 30% of the population is familiar with me. Another 40% of the population goes, ah, you. Um, and then everybody else doesn't, doesn't know me from Adam. So um, I can't pick my nose in the car, but I also don't get very good uh, tables at restaurants. I, I live in that new American reality, which is, you know, it used to be you were a celebrity, you were a celebrity, and you lived in a, you know, gated mansion and had bodyguards and, you know, uh, private jets and yachts. I'm a cable celebrity, so I don't have a gate. Uh, I live on a regular street, and my airplane has propellers. Um, but I can't pick my nose in the car. I'm very mindful of that. Um, and being a cable celebrity in the modern age means everybody, um, it's, it's, I live George Orwell's 1984 because every phone has a camera on it and very often something will happen to me and five minutes later there's a tweet about it with a picture. So I'm, I'm almost living behind myself, you know, just a little bit, but you know, I, I, I can't go anywhere or do anything without a record being taken of it. Um, which is just the way it is to be a cable celebrity. Uh, so real celebrities can disappear from that uh, because they have people to control things and, uh, and I don't. So um, how has it changed my, my life? It's defined my life. Only parenthood has defined me more than being on Food Network. And it's part of something that is a phenomenon because, let's face it, food is the last common thread that we all really have with each other. We all have to eat, we all have that in common. It's one of the few things we have in common. And so it still remains a very powerful, viable subject.